for a minute and I've just been doing whatever. I make his, I'm making this part and he'll make the other part. up in Fort, or Mark did, it's a place, I'll tell you that much, you need an escape from your reality, some choose alcohol, others drugs, and then there's me, the rapper, trap producer, I love all that modern res life has to offer, I love putting on headphones, Skateboarding around here. I use the realness of this place to inspire my art. Not just in music, but poetry, visual, video art. I was invented to like Res Life. <laughs> because there was a time in Mark's past where he hated it. He was different, so to speak. He loved a genre of music not a lot of people around here are familiar with. He would get made fun of by the usual types. He can recall a time in his childhood days where an older cousin berated him for his love of this genre. People around here listen to gangster rap, rock, heavy metal, country. No one listens to what you like. Those weirdos that do BGSM stuff, listen to that. Are you a <laughs> You would think that would be enough to deter someone from enjoying music, right? <laughs> no. Mark was a dreamer. I like to say it was around the early spring of 23. When I came into existence. Before, Mark didn't care for rap or hip hop altogether. Probably because of the message or because douchebags would push it on him. Whatever it was, it was enough for him to push back with the latter. If it was his car, his living space, his rave, it was always his choice of music. And you know what? It'll always be his choice of music, too. Eric Ass Trap.
had enough of the attitude a place like this breeds. You're supposed to acknowledge them when you're just walking by, asking for cigarettes every day and never stop. Nobody likes each other. It might just be me, but the animosity towards one another can only rival that of soap operas you see on daytime TV. <laughs> and I was created to counter all that bullshit. And I'll always know, because I'll be the one telling you to your face, you're a lying scumbag. Mark was a pushover. He always tried to see the good and even the worst pieces of human trash he had to come across. <laughs> I came to be in 15. Life was nothing but a blur, non-stop, alcohol binges, and a suicidal mindset. <laughs> well, I could bring the worst out of something. Mark was being pushed to some very low levels at that time in life. I came to be when I needed to be. I still only be when needed to be.